I need the shmoolah. We need the shmoolah because we're trying to make it in this business. It's a dirty business. Dirty, dirty, give me some shmoolah because I need to live. I gotta buy a toilet paper to wipe my ass in the morning and the evening. Also, occasionally we jack off. Yes, I mean, we do. I mean, we do. Right off know. the bat. <laughs> <laughs> getting that money. Schmeet. Getting that money. Schmeet. <laughs> We're back. We're back in our Schmeet. <laughs> We're back. We're That's back. That it's Chrono Trigger. You already know what's going on. Uh, we finished the Megas fight, and we are now Yo. back into prehistory. What's, yeah, what's good with that? Can I get a... Excuse me. She beat Megas on the first try. How about that? Oh, word? Mm -hmm. On the first fucking try. Mm -hmm. Took that motherfucker downtown. I need a recap. Um, (coughs) Oh, so a recap of the last episode just? Just last episode? Yeah, yeah. Uh, So we were in a castle. I had to beat up a bunch of dudes before I... uh, I had a a small um, inconvenience beating Ozzy for the first time. Mm Mm-hmm. Because I did not know what I was supposed to be doing, and then I accidentally hit one of the one of the things, and like five minutes after that, I finally understood what I had to do. Shit. <laughs> yeah, it, weirdly enough, I wouldn't say that Ozzy w- was more difficult than Magus for you, but it took more figuring out than mm-hmm. Magus. Like, Magus, you caught on to the, the gimmick of the fight real quick. Yeah, well, you told me about the, uh, the messages up top, and I finally was like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to listen to the boy real quick. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm working a Sean. I'm working a fine line with this. Where I'm trying my best not to. Oh, I've watched. I've watched you watch her play this and like seeing your like lip quiver. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, I'm. She passes I'm, it. Like, I'm really trying not to like overdo the coaching aspect of it. I'm I, think, I think I know this first half of this game pretty well. Second half I know from playing it, but I don't remember like a lot of the items and shit. And mm. I think Danny. I need to figure out where I'm going. Um, where am I going? Uh, they said to go north, north woods burning, if you remember last. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get the stream on my phone. So I think you gotta go, yeah, around and up. You could maybe do some trading with your boys over there. Mm. Yeah, that's where you're going. That that hut that was not visible before. Danny Axel live boom blap. Dacia All Stars playing Chrono Trigger. So yeah, um, good luck. Repetitis. Sean. I really appreciate that. Oh, of course. I missed the episode, but I tuned in. In my head, I was like, I was like, I don't want to request a character's name, but like, if you named Robo or Magus after me, I would have been fine with it. Oh my god. Yo, who <laughs> pronounces it Magus? Magus? Magus. Magus. Yeah. Magus. Is it Steve or? I say Repetitis I, hurt all who I, fight. I say what Magus. What do now? I say Magus, like a magazine. But I, I think it's Magus because he's a mage, right? So it would be Magus. Instead of Magus, okay. but I or no Magus. Those Magus. who fight killed. No, those who done yet. I'm gonna go Magus. in the other room and check te- check the volume. Shaq, Y'all keep this talking. your fault. Look at mess. Yo, shit, I could do some voice. Reptitis followed yo. So village now ruined. <laughs> and Danny leaves. Shaq. <laughs> 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 and this is like I, I wouldn't it wouldn't be a stream with me and him if he didn't just like get up and dip. Yes. Like five minutes <laughs> into it. Shaq feel bad. Reptit is strong. They live long time before us. They smart, so we hide. But Shaq say fight together. Shaq still fight. Shaq. Shaq fight while alive. Win and live, lose and die. Rule of life, no change rule. Old man breathe, but dead on inside. That's <laughs> fucking dark. <laughs> Shaq, you strong. Can make big talk. We no have power. No, have power. We fight, gain more power. Oh, I just realized Ayla is fucking named Shaq. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. Who named her Shaq? Was that you? I, that's me, yeah. I like well, D- Dan, Dan suggested it, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's right. I appreciate how SHA is uppercase, and then you get the lowercase double Q. <coughs> Shaq makes me exhausted, because like, I, I scream so hard when I, when, I, uh, yeah. when I voice her. Who does Dan do the voice of? Shaq help you, but need dactyl. Give dactyl. Need dactyl? Go to Tyranno lair? That Reptitis place. Dangerous. Shaq won't die? 
baba ganoush. <laughs> Want to live, so go there. Shack be okay. Give dactyl. Yo, we need dactyls, motherfucker. Okay, go to dactyls. They speak English in dactyl. Help. Careful, Shack. Yo, what up, black, black soap? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man that checks a little bit. Thanks. Oh, Neil. Thank you, old man. Yeah, I like to make the chat a little bigger for my old man eyes because I can't see shit. There we go. Chilling, pimping, doing the thing. Chilling, pimping, and 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 doing the thing. Having a thing and a doing a thing. <laughs> the bell was the ending. I love the music. So I love the music in this <laughs> game. As an epilogue, it's like, the, it's like extended. Uh, Dance mix. I gotta like sit at an angle so I could like you know, you turn to take, you without you know getting off my extended mic. version of Take On Me. Oh my by God. Aha. What? Could it be better though? It could probably only be ruined with more time. It's just like more background, like heavenly vocals and shit. More in a day or two. It's my favorite thing in the world. Take On Me by Aha. No, no, no. The sword, sword stream. <laughs> well, that's that's the current favorite. All right, the meta, the meta of this stream is how many times will her favorite tech change before the episode is over? <laughs> I, I really like this, game. this girl be falling in love with techs. Mm -hmm. Hello, man. It's <coughs> me, Voltex. Yo, what up, Volt? Good to see you, man. What's up, Voltex? Hello, Voltex. We're doing our, we're doing our Chrono Trigger thing. Um, I, I, I think this is the first time you joined us for Chrono Trigger. To catch you up, Stash is on the control. This is her first time ever playing the game. So, it's uh, pretty special. My favorite game of all time. She's playing it for the first time. Hello. Sean's somewhere in the middle. I mean, no, I love this game. I would I would put this game in, like, I give it top three soundtracks of all time. <laughs> Definitely. Yo, yesterday was 20th USA anniversary of Ocarina of Time. That shit made me, Holy like, shit. put wow. me in my feels, bro. <coughs> 20 years. Oh, my God. Well, Stasi will be experiencing that shortly because I'm getting her a 3DS for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, so you would you would think why is he telling her the the present but it's just how we roll <laughs> this is how we roll just, because yeah. i always guess what he's gonna give me accidentally yeah it's amazing last year she was like man i really need a new guitar i think i'm gonna get a new guitar and i'm like shh don't do it <laughs> don't get a new guitar i've already bought you a new guitar <laughs> It was really funny. Yeah, and uh, this time I was just like, I should probably get a switch for myself to like uh, or ride around in trains and actually do this. And I'm like, no, you can't do that. Even though I'm sure eventually you will get a switch, but every time. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a switch. That's happening. But the DS is perfect for the backpack. Oh yeah. It's like a throw it in your backpack item. You know. So good. It doesn't need a fucking protective case that you gotta carry around like a switch does. Yeah, that's one thing. Like it's gonna, switch. it's perfect. You're gonna love it. I already know. The switch is a. Um, the switch really is a commitment. It, it's a hybrid. It really, it really is a hybrid. It's like a home console, and you can take it with you. I love this. I, the switch rules. I can't say enough good things about Nintendo Switch. Oh, you gotta go around to the right. Got her. No, no, you're going, you're going backwards. <clears throat> that's, that's, I'm, I'm here to keep her on the rails. You know? There you go. I like how you walk and to the run. left, I like, I like and down like... and around and up. To the left. You can run. You can run. You have the option. And right. down. I was, I was left and down though. Yeah, you gotta go up, up on the right there. The, that rock is blocking your way. I guess there is an advantage to walk because <coughs> it's probably no, easier down. to avoid enemies. You gotta, you gotta get on the right side. You're on the left side. Oh. There you go. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, up there. Oh! Oh! With the avoidance well, techniques! How they do like depth, depth perception in this game and try to create like higher and lower levels when it's just like a flat map all mm -hmm. the time. Well, yeah, and you know, one of the things that I've noticed is like she didn't grow up with 2D games trying to add 3D like that. And the, the perspective is probably the thing she trips out on the most is like what's on top of what, you know? Whereas for us, it's like, I played tons of games like that when I was growing up, so I just, my eyes just adjust automatically, you know? But it is all flat 2D, technically. You know, nothing is actually popping out of the screen. But they do, they create a layer of, like, you can see height, you know? <coughs> this is awesome. My name is Venus, with a B. Oh my god, did they just throw one at me? 
Oh no, not this thing. Nah, man. They got nothing on you. Schist. Nice schist. <laughs> what up, schist? Yo, what up, cave ape? That's kind of like rough that they would just call them cave apes like that. Also, I appreciate how my name is spelled like, <laughs> like capital letter and then the rest lowercase, like everyone else. Like Danny's all caps. Well, I'm Shaq Danny. as well. Shaq. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shaq getting mashed meat. I was saying Anastasia on the last stream that like no game mellows me out on stream quite like this game. Me too. That's why I, I wanted to specifically be a part of this stream. This it like also I get to be third mic. I don't think I've ever been third mic on a stream. Well, no, not. I not think you have. At least, yeah, oh. maybe with like me, Dan, and Steve. Yeah, yeah. But like, right, you're usually second banana. Third banana. But you know that's. I'm all about that. I, I actually think the more that you've been on stream in general, the more you can do any of the positions, you know? This so is true. It's like it becomes old hat after a while. Yo, I went to, um, I saw Rock Doc for Sonic Youth, and two of the Sonic Youth members were there. So, um, I've officially seen three of the Sonic Youth members in person of the four. Holy shit. That's and I cool. talk to two of them because my new thing now is whenever I see people like I don't know if idolize is the word, but people I respect artistically, mm -hmm. I always make an effort to say hi or I'd be like, hey, I like your work or something. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You know? <laughs> it's cool. I get yeah. I, I, I walk by the drummer Sonic Youth and I was like, hi. <laughs> and he's just like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, sick. It was like a checklist. Like I was like <coughs> checking off something. Yeah, that w that happened to me one time. I was walking in the street with and and we, and we saw um, we saw everybody but Stephen Wilson from Porcupine Tree like oh, walking shit. together in a group, and I like saw them and I just pulled one of these. I was like, <coughs> I was like, oh guys, and I was like, have a good show. That's and awesome. It, yeah, we just kept walking, and it was pretty amazing. It was like, there's Did the they whole. Say they, no, they did the fucking like the head nod, you know, like the the nod of recognition of recognition. Yeah. It's like we recognize that you recognize. Yeah. yeah it's, oh, that's that must sweet. be cool. That's probably a cool feeling because like, yo, they are not like the Beatles or Tom Cruise. They're not going to be recognized by your everyday person. Yeah. I like how you. So I'm sure put Beatles and Tom Cruise together. Well, yeah, because like if that you saw fun. Beatles or Tom Cruise <laughs> walking on the block, there's no way you'd be like, yo, that's Eddie Murphy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, yeah, you know exactly who that is. Oh shit, no matter what. Like even if you didn't like him. Yeah, yeah that's everyone. that's real. That's real. Sure. Um the yeah, the coolest one that's that Captain Sonic Youth, that's the Lemur novel, the guitar player. And Holy the shit, they got and I also they got, got so oh, old. My, my new phone. Oh, well, he's gonna have to wait. They got so old. Oh, yeah, Holy dude. fucking shit. They're Thurston, so Thurston old. Thurston Moore just turned what? 60. Thurston Moore is 60. He's not in that picture. Oh, Sean, if Ooh, you yeah. uh, if you email me this picture, I'll throw it up on the screen. Oh, cool. I will. I will definitely do that. Yeah, wow. the, the drummer looks straight dad rock these days. <laughs> and it's funny because <laughs> they they're old men. They're talking about how he was the drummer of a hardcore band called The Crucifix. The Crucifix? Dude, he's a really... Drummer. That's a Still great a name. He just got that dad gut. That's a great the name. The, the Crucifix. Yeah. So Holy the, shit. Needless to Dirty say, boots. I've been in a Sonic Youth phase. Right. Yeah. I, I fucking Everybody. Well, because yeah. it was so it was it was billed as a documentary about Daydream Nation, and it ended up just being like unreleased live footage, and then a Q and A with the director, and then the guys from Sonic Youth hung out for a bit. And then it was more live footage, but this time instead of 80s footage, it was like 2007 footage. It was cool. I've never watched live footage like that in a fucking movie theater, front row. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Awesome, yeah. I never, I don't, I, oh no, I, was, I don't think I've ever seen a rock doc in a movie theater. Like, that just sounds great. Yeah, with two of the members there. And the Q&A part was really interesting, too. They mm. were so, like, <laughs> not burnt out, but, like, they're just, like, people are asking these questions, and every answer, they're just, like, yeah, I really don't remember, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It was 30 years ago. It was a long time. Like, like they were mm -hmm. arguing mm -hmm. on stage. It begins. Everybody, it's on stream. Everybody gonna see me on stream. Pass this bag of chips to Stasia. Take bets now on whether I get this back. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that thing. <laughs> so yeah, that was cool. I saw two members of Sonic Youth. I just gotta see the Thurston Moore and then mm. seeing them all separately. See Kim Gordon. Can we go to another candle? I know. I'm gonna have some Yo, baggage. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think they got the best hair in the rock game. Look, is everybody still has it? Yeah. <laughs> Three okay, so you No yeah. <laughs> Nobody's got that disgusting nah. fucking crow's nest. Nah, like like, like okay, like like worst hair in the rock game, probably the Pixies. <laughs> best hair in the Keith rock Richards? game. Keith Richards? Hold on. Hold on. Keith no, Richards. but Keith Richards got a style. He grows like two tufts on the side and back and like puts them up so that they have like volume. It's kind of amazing. Yeah, like, a, his hairstyle is like like that the headband is necessary for the hairstyle to exist. Mm -hmm. He can't actually have his hairstyle without that headband. Fucking Sonic Youth, three guys. All of them still have long shaggy hair. Fucking only one of them has gray hair. Like Thurston Moore got that like uh sixteen year old hair genetics that uh Stone Gossard has. Where his face ages, but his hair doesn't really age. Doesn't mm -hmm. really go gray or anything. Good for him, man. Something about those dissonant chords. Stone Gossard, grown man in his 50s, who just decides he's going to grow his hair out anytime. Yeah, that must be. That's a nice feeling. I'm over here counting the follicles in the front. I'm like, mm, we about six months from abandoning ship. Nah, we've um, been saying that for like five years. I know, I know. Sean Danny makes fun of me hair. all the time. Danny long hair. He's like, yeah. Danny long hair. It's talking about his, like, his receding like, hairline. One of his fucking hair follicles. All right, who back. farted? And he's like, oh, I'm balding. You did. I didn't know. You farted. I didn't know such thing. Sean. I did not fart. I would just have to. I yeah. smell it. It's no, your it's butt. Not me. You're smelling your that own was not booty. My butt. I don't smell That's it. Your it was you. I didn't you fart. You farted. Did I fart? If I farted, I didn't notice. If I farted, it was just release. I. Somebody farted on stream, guys. Oh my god. I'm, I'm on fucking dactyls. Right Yo. How do Where you are we going? You're riding dactyls now. You got to go to the Toronto layer. Yeah, my bad. I'm Chrono Trigger talk. about. Yeah, Chrono Trigger. Uh, yeah, we just got to remember to read. We forget to read sometimes. Cool. Can I do the voice of uh, Robo? You can do the like voice of Sean. whoever you want to do. Oh, oh, it does kind of smell like someone's heart. Oh, my God. Somebody farted. Yeah. Maybe I don't think boops. I farted. Unless it was Bookie. All right, maybe Bookie dropped that doo-doo deuce. Damn, Don. Damn, Don. Wait, where are we going? Oh, uh, it's to your right. You're, oh, you got it. That's left. <laughs> My other right. Your other right. Go up a little bit. And to your right. There you go. It's around there. Now Gorgo you got, Palace. You got to land it on the, yeah, just go on the ground like. Yeah, put it. There you go. Perfect. Save. Yeah, <laughs> save. <Sean>! Yes, <laughs> Sean. Yes. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Just, that was like, amazing. Just like an old man. Like, oh, make sure you. <laughs> Gotta save, it's important. I'm going to another candle I know. Oh, is that is that today's tune? Mm -hmm. Fuck it, yesterday. Calling occupants. A bunch of planetary craft. Calling occupants. I don't know that. A bunch of planetary quite extraordinary craft. Crapped. Crapped. Yeah. It's like one song per day. This is her real nemesis, is finding her way on the world map. <laughs> keep score, kids. Don't do. Don't, ski, <laughs> don't keep score. Friends, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, uh, public service announcement. This is not, this is not a, a sponsorship of any kind, but uh, wavy uts. French onion potato chips are fucking banging. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and get some of those. Right? I would get a big bag if they had a big bag. Those are good chips. Yeah. Just so you know, they got them at Sophie's. Mmm. Mmm. And for all you gluten free folks, they are gluten free. Ma'am. There you go. There it is. Live on stream. I ain't gluten-free, bro. We educate in the chip community. Mm -hmm. I'm pro-gluten, bro. St I'm, I'm stand up to the oppression of gluten. <laughs> Hold my people back. Mm. 
But you notice how nobody got a peanut allergy. It's mostly for people like Rob. It was like a... No, for a minute, for a hot minute, it was a peanut allergy. Everybody had a peanut allergy. Now everybody's allergic to gluten. You know, not gonna lie. There's a kid in my junior high school allergic to peanuts, and they asked everyone to not bring in food containing peanuts, and my mom was like, yo, fuck that. You getting, ma- you getting fucking peanut butter jelly. And I'm like, word. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. my God, really? So on some thug shit, I was always eating peanut butter and jellies at come school. On, like, what are you going to do, shove it down his gullet? <clears throat> like, come on. Yo, fuck me. We, 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 I'll fucking breathe on you. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you going to do, rub it into his backpack? Sorry, like, come he, on. He was annoying. I had a very interesting friend <laughs> was who was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring it up. You bring Let's it up. You bring it up. Grade school beef on the stream, John. It, it wasn't even grade school beef. He was like y- several years younger than me. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing this little kid get special treatment. And then, like at the end of the year, her mom, his mom, would bring in a cake. It would be like a thanks for keeping our school peanut free cake. And I'm like, Yo, stop yeah, it. Yeah, whatever. Oh, slurp <laughs> kiss, bubble hit, drill kick. Oh, Ooh, nice. mad moves. Dude, um, I had a I had a very interesting friend in middle school who was, um, who was very dramatic but also very allergic to peanuts. And um, it is raining, by the way. I remember if anybody ever, like, brought up a peanut butter sandwich right next to her, like even the smell would have her oh, man. You know, have her throat close up. So I like took it very seriously. So I didn't eat any of that shit yeah. like right next to her. Um, but there was this one time she was just like, Anastasia, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to eat a whole jar of peanut butter. <laughs> and I just laughed. <laughs> I was like, I, 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 I knew that she might have been like kind of serious at the time. You know, a very dramatic 13-year-old kid telling me that she's going to kill herself with, with a jar of peanut butter because she's allergic to peanut right, butter. Right, but it felt absurd at the moment. But it was just so hilarious <laughs> to me. I was like, no, please don't. Like, <laughs> please do not. God, don't do this. I've like eaten peanut butter... Out of the jar with a spoon before. Oh my god, yeah, that's my lifestyle. Oh my fingers. Goes into the cell with no fear. Says, what you got over here for me? Nothing? Chubby boy face. For sure. Props for figuring out how to open the cell in the first Wait, try. Hold on. Secrets. More Gaba than Jewel. Secrets. So far, she's been Anastasia's secret hunter. Like. <laughs> She's There's living that life. Here. There's some... Wait, what? I oh, know. <laughs> Psyching yourself out. Oh, I see that you brought. I see that you brought Frog. Yes. I see that that's the squadron right now. He's wonderful. I love him. Oh, you. The way you got them lined up right now is like perfect for uh, <coughs> for making extract look cool. <coughs> Bam! So I was, yeah. saying, I was also saying off stream, Red Dead Redemption 2 is awesome. I highly recommend it. No. Sean, Sean is, is, is feeling the vibes and feeling the flows on Red Dead 2. I didn't realize that game was getting mixed reviews until about a weekend. Because I bought that game the night it came out. Mm-hmm. And I, I've been slowly playing it, although I'll probably say the last two or three days I've been in my like all out stream, just like kind of going through everything do you do you want the consensus on the, what the mixed reviews are i know what they are i know what they are also I, I, shun the just mo- get the mic more in the vicinity oh yeah yeah I'm just, oh, you good. um yeah we, right <laughs> so you heard it's it's mostly uh what are they saying outdated shooter mechanics right it's like yeah it's like that rock star shit yeah yeah which which is fair yeah. it's fair it kind of on that, I'll give Rockstar the same shit that I'm giving Bethesda right now. It's like, yo, update your shit. Come on. Oh, yeah, like, Bethesda's even worse. Yeah, dude. That fall, no, that fall out dude, that Fallout looked garbage. like garbage from day one. Yeah. And and I'm not surprised that it's getting reviewed like garbage. You know. Um, this Fallout 3 was a big deal. Well, and, and I'm in a... I'm in a strange position from how most people feel because everybody's <laughs> feeling this now. The way everybody's feeling now is the way I was feeling when Fallout 3 came out. Because I love Fallout 2 so much that, like, I didn't like that it was like, oh, it's just another Bethesda game that they're calling Fallout. It really bothered me at the time. Like, I love the intro when you start 
Fallout 3 and you're inside the vault. Yeah. I thought that was all really interesting. And then as soon as I got he out of the vault, it, bro, the father. and then it was just more typical Bethesda, I was like, I felt like something had been lost, you know? So the thing that everybody's feeling now going, this is not my Fallout. It's like, I, I, I kind of already felt that back in the day. Um, but I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's getting to that point where it's getting reviewed so poorly that there's a part of me now that wants to experience it to see if that, like... I don't know why people are... Is, well, it, is it that bad? You know what I mean? Is it really that bad? I think people are giving it so many harsh reviews because of, like, how ambitious the game is. I think people are kind of, like, angry. Because I think the problem with that game was that people were, like, rating it and making their opinion of it before it even fucking came out. And were like, oh, it's going to be revolutionary. It's going to change your video game making. If you're into story in video games, then it's your game to play. If you're not into story, then you're probably going to get bored of it. So it's really, like, a matter of, like, how you... It's like it's no, like it's like it's talking, like it's like Fallout or Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption I got a little 2. Lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, you talking about? Because I was gonna say one of the big complaints about the Fallout is that there is no story. I thought three had but, a good um, story, and New Vegas had a little bit of a better story. I gotta play New Vegas. Everybody tells me to play New Vegas. It's like three, but better. It's like better New Vegas. It's like better three. Yeah, I gotta I gotta give that one a shot. And then four is just like three with better graphics. <clears throat> I know some people like Fallout Four. I liked I liked seeing what they did with Fenway Park. That was like the only. One of the so, only few things I liked about it. Right. So you, you got back on the Red Dead train. That's good. Yeah, yeah. So outdated shooting mechanics. Uh, chapter 5. Chapter 5 is like the drop-off point. Dude, Chapter 5 I fucking really enjoyed. Because I... It's one of those things where like... So I basically binged Chapter 5 all of last night. That's why I like woke up so late today. Is because I got up to Chapter 5. It's like the drop-off point in the story. And... I really enjoyed it. I can see why some people didn't like it. I thought it was like a really fascinating part of the tale. Um, it's kind of, it's different than fall. You, you, in, you know, in Red Dead One, when you like go to Mexico and stuff, mm -hmm. it's kind of like yeah, that. Which, but it, which for me, Mexico dragged on way too long. It's, it didn't. Yeah, it's like I, be, I beat Chapter Five in like two hours. I don't. It's, it wasn't even like a big part of the game. I've, I've, be, I've come to the conclusion that if you want to play Red Dead and really enjoy it, the best thing you could do. Like, is Siri. power through Mexico. Just just get it over with as fast as possible. Just That's do the story funny. missions right away. Literally where I stopped playing when I yeah. got to Mexico on my, my, my first official playthrough of Red Dead. Yeah, that Mexico's not great. It's not great. You know why Mexico isn't great? I'll tell you why. It actually is a, a it's mostly a failure of storytelling. There is no character to root for. There is no side to attach yourself to. Both sides of that conflict feel like assholes. And so, so you're literally doing work for people that by the end you don't really care about either side, and it's literally like you, you're like, I just want to get back to John's story. Yeah. Like I don't care about this conflict. I just want to leave this place. You know. That's and where that's where I think a lot of the strengths are into the story, the characters, something the that dialogue, the scenery. Holy shit. I I I fast traveled in that game maybe a handful of times to like save same time. Thing, same thing with one. I I never really fast traveled in one. I like. But, they're they're very atmospheric in that way. I, it sucks. I wish I could say more, like to go back and forth with you, but I haven't played it yet. So like, the thing the thing that kind of bothered me about a lot of the reviews were that they seem kind of rushed because that game is not like a. There's just so much shit to do in that game. Um, would you agree with the 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 critiques about like, the menu systems and how like it's all a little convoluted? Not really. I think I think the. Because I saw that a lot in, in reviews. I didn't really mind the menu that, like, system. They were going for detail to the point where it's not fun to play. That was, uh, know, like where it's not it's not fun to like have to go get your weapons from the horse and blah 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 and all this shit. Yeah, I could say that could definitely use a little work. Like, did you? Uh, this guy Angry Joe reviewed it. I love Angry Joe. That's, he, my, he, that's my boy. His, his review is my favorite because his, his review I think kind of hit all the important parts. It's like yeah, really wish you could fucking run in your home base because once you get into your home camp your your running mechanic kind of talk turns into a walk fast mechanic so you're just kind of like trudging like oh i just want to move bro like the, the shooting system probably could use a little work um other than that though it's like i just feel like this game is so fucking immersive like that's what i mean it's like way back um leap slash spire mm. 
Yeah, man. I don't know. I, I, I feel like you can't. This is the thing is like I feel like I can't even like it took me weeks to come up with how <coughs> I feel about this game. I feel like you gotta sit on this game for a little bit before you. Oh, come you got up that lightning verdict. too. Mm -hmm. Yo, look at lightning too. Don't you love it? Oh shit! Ah, that's like one of the best moves in the game. Even that's why. You, that's why you <laughs> said no shit up. before, right? Ah, lightning too. She's over here sneaking in lightning twos, and I'm not looking. Yo, how you feeling about the Tyrannal layer so far? Um. Yeah, I'm can't sorry. Can't say anything. I like the I like the the skull mouths that open up and you have to go through them. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite things in this series so far is uh, she's been very observant and into the art style. Art she, style, that's awesome. Keeps pointing out all these little things, and I'm like, right? Look at the fucking art my style. My favorite was the Magus Castle. The Magus, Magus Castle. Castle too. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Bumping mm -hmm. tunes. Got the bumping tunes. I hate these guys. <laughs> Fuck these guys. <laughs> Fuck all these guys. God, Fuck y'all hoes. We don't love them hoes. Getting it. Doing it. Let's see. That being said, I, I really love Crown Trigger. That out there. <laughs> right, gotta gotta go back and talk about what we're actually doing every <laughs> once in a while. Um, you know what? It's funny because I I know where it's all gonna go, obviously, and like all the different sections that are coming. And I am so pumped for her to just get through this part. This this part of the game for me is always a get through this part because I'm so into what happens next type of vibe, you know. So. Oh no! I should have done you're that. You respawning. It's okay. Get that experience, homie. Yeah, 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 it's fine. Yo, there's a part when you get to... I've said it in the chat, but, like, when you get don't, to, like... Don't give away any locations now. Yo, there's, like, the <laughs> ultimate level up part later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta make sure not to beat it. You gotta you gotta not beat this part at the end of the game for a while. Just, like, put it off as long as you can. There's Did a... you see the, the one where I tried to beat Lavos? <laughs> no, I heard about it. I heard about it. <laughs> that I shit was go good, up. though. That shit was good. Yo, I actually, I remember the first time Home I girl beat, got strong. The, the first time I beat this game, I remember trying to fight Lavos, like, just Chrono. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was my first time, f like, fighting Lavos, like, solo. And I'm like, dude, um, this is fucking impossible. There, there's an there's an ending. To get the developer ending <coughs> on New Game Plus, you got to beat Lavos as early as possible. That's insane, oh, man. Um, yeah, because on New Game Plus, you can challenge Lavos whenever you want, right? Um... And to get like the the rarest ending, you have to fight him right at the beginning of the game. And uh, if you if you skill it, you can fight it with Chrono and and uh, Biddy. But if not, then you have to do it just Chrono by himself. Mm. And it's fucking tough. Fight hard as fuck. It's tough, man. It's doable if you're if you're good on items. It's doable, but it's tough, man. I love this game. It's it's one of those things where like I've done everything there is to do and I still come back and play it like once once a year, you know? I have that itch to go, all right, I'm gonna play Chrono Trigger and I just sit down and make a file or a new game plus it and run through it one more time. Oh, I like how uh, consistent they are with the graphics over here. Cause the castle stands up on the uh, like a shitload of lava. Yeah. And here we are. It was a Super Lava Nintendo, still. man. They had like limited space to make consistency, uh, man. Consistency. Yeah, so you, they basically rely on you using your imagination. Oh. <coughs> Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> nice place, Gotti, Dan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got by game design, baby. Gotti. You had a 50 50 Self chance. Gotti. You had a 50 50 chance. The fuck is going on? You're back where you were before. You, you, they, you drop back downstairs. Should I go back upstairs? Yeah, you gotta go through the, the mouth over here on the left. Guy Dan, bro. He's, 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 that's what they call him, Guy Dan. He helps me a lot when I play Metal Gear Solid. Because uh, when I stream, I don't realize half the shit I'm doing. Thank I think you. gameplay kind of becomes subconscious, so I need someone there to like... I appreciate that. Yeah. That actually goes back to growing up. Um, 
I, I mean, I've said this on stream a thousand times, but whatever. We got new fans. Um, my brother is just awesome at video games. And so a lot of times growing up, he would be the control man and I would be, you know, the guide man. I'd be the guy noticing small details and, and you know, pointing out things and kind of just keeping him on the rails. So that kind of like, that always, that always like stayed with me. It's just kind of how I am with video games. I, I try to be observant. So I'm a good backseat, uh, you know, observer in games. That's kind of, yeah, the, gui the guide role is a good role for me. I have a Chrono Trigger file on my phone right now. Beautiful, that's awesome. What? Yeah, because I downloaded it for iOS a while ago. Yeah, it's, not a, just... it's not a great port, though. I, that, yeah. that version <laughs> I, um, makes me angry. I just, um... Which is the, the version, the Steam version is based on that fucking phone port. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm really angry about it. There's so many great versions of this game. <clears throat> the DS version. <clears throat> Hello. Like, you know? Like, motherfucker. Like, and they went off the phone version. And I'm like... Like, to me, like, I'm... Oh, cat attack. Learn. Mm. I'm, I'm a little bit of a purist. Volt bite. Lovely. Mm. I'm, I'm uh, gonna be professional and take a phone call. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a purist. Like, I prefer the su this version. The Super Nintendo version is the version of the game that I mm -hmm. think is the best. Um... The PS1 version has cool anime cutscenes that are thrown into certain key points, oh. and that's really cool. That would be worth watching on YouTube, uh, yeah. you know, once you're done with the game. A um, lot of cool stuff there, but the loading times are fucking annoying, um, you know, so I would still rather play this. The DS version is kind of amazing, but they changed the dialogue, so Frog doesn't talk so stupidly, to so, like, terrible oldie English, mm. and it's like... I don't, exactly. I'm like, that's part of his fucking charm is the thou hast come hither <laughs> is part of the charm. <laughs> Dude, I like him. I like him a lot. Um, mm -hmm. The thing is, the loading times, interesting that you noted that because I was thinking about that. I'm like... Oh, no, that's only in the PS1 version, though. This doesn't have any loading times. No, I'm that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Uh, I was just about to say, loading times in this game are... They don't exist. Okay. It's, what it's, the it's, fuck was that? This game is, like, incredible like that. Yeah, I love that the enemies are on the screen and you just pop into battle. Mm -hmm. At the time, that was new. Because Final Fantasy games always would go to a different battle screen, right? So, like, the, it, there would be a transition. By me, my battle screen. And, right, and you'd be in the battle screen. Where, But this was the first game where, literally, where you're standing is where the fight breaks out. And I think that's awesome. And, and so, in the PlayStation version, there's all these micro load times when you go in and out of a door. And it's like, yeah. uh, fuck off. No, just, just no. It changes the pacing, which is, I think, if you were to ask me one chess move, what is this game's strongest feature? For me, it's the pacing. I think it's paced incredibly well. Yeah. It's, it's so I mean, again, as I was saying yesterday, we were in the castle. We were fighting too many enemies, and it was getting, like, to a point where I was like, come on. And... Then it stopped right when I felt it. Mm -hmm. Right when I felt it. Right when you were like, this fucking zone, then it was over. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's good like that. The game, it's incredible. Most, most areas don't overstay their welcome. Consistency also. Just want to point out the graphics over there. <laughs> just love it. Look at all that fucking lava. Or a rock. Looks like a rock. Lava or lava. Or just lava. I think it's mountains, yeah. yeah I think yeah. it's the, the mountains above the lava. Yeah, but either way. I just want to point out the graphics a little bit more. It looks fucking great, man. This game is, uh, I, I will say it every time we stream, it hasn't aged a fucking day. Okay. Where did you snap out of? I feel gassy now. I wasn't gassy before. <laughs> now I feel gassy. Shit. Oh I just realized, too, your items are running a bit low. We probably should have restocked before we came here. Uh, it's okay. Um, we'll see what's going on. Hopefully, there will be a point to shelter. Yeah, definitely. They won't send you to the boss fight without a save point. And I think before when you uh, pressed the button that brought you down into the hole, 
I think if you had pressed the other button, a save point might have uh, appeared. Holy shit, this one was 980. I gave him fucking 900. I'm not 100% on that, but I think that yeah, that's Yeah, because I think some enemies are weak against electric. Yeah. Yeah, I think in general, uh, dinosaur type enemies like are, are weak too. I like, uh, look at this! Lightning. Look at this! The, I just wanna this boy right here, the one I'm fighting. Look at him! <laughs> I was shocked. He's, he can hit him now. That means he's like weakened. Yeah. Fucking cat shack, attack! Shack, shack attack! Shack out the diesel strength. Shack style. attack! Killing it! Shack slaying attack. it! Getting through it, tech points, mid tonics, level ups. Hell yeah. Cool, I believe you're making hard progress right now, actually. Uh, those eggs are chests. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teleport points. Yeah, bro. I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. Donkey got to come at my game like that. I want, I want my people to get in touch with Donkey's people. We can set up like a meeting. <laughs> I know it's always Door. tough when somebody who you like straight up admire like doesn't agree with your thoughts. It's yeah, like, it's cool. I understand. It's like, oh no, we're well, at so, an impasse. I, I was talking about it with someone, and like, they were just like. Yeah, Donkey fucking didn't like the game, and I'm like, no, you he didn't, didn't even. He didn't say that. He gave it a three out of five. Yeah, he said, he said. He didn't. He didn't shit on it. His words were, I give it a three out of five, and a def, and like I definitely recommend you play it. Is what he said, and I'm like, that's fair. I think four out of five would have been more fair in his case, but. Oops, Sarah Topper. That's somebody could. I just don't. That. I just think the gaming mechanics probably annoyed him more than it annoyed me. Mm -hmm. I just like. Well, that's what's making me nervous. Is that what people seem to be complaining about? For me, are, are the type of things that do get on my nerves. You know what yes. I mean? Those little microaggressions where the game is like has systems that annoy mm -hmm. you. Yeah, that's, that, yeah, then you, that's gonna happen. That builds up for me over time. But, but I'll say, mm -hmm. in the inverse of that, atmosphere is king for me. So if I'm into the world of the game, oh, yeah. I'll be fine. You know, if I'm into the story being told and the and the colors and the imagery. Oh, man. I'll be fine. Fucking Arthur Morgan. I got. I have to play it. Arthur I, Morgan compared to John Marston is like, Arthur Morgan is like the Shawn Michaels, and fucking, <laughs> you know where I'm going with this, <laughs> fucking, John Marston is Marty Janetti. Oh my god, <laughs> damn. I love, I love me some John Marston, but I'm like, damn. Arthur Morgan is like, this is my probably one of my favorite rock star characters. In a long time. Yo, Rockstar is and has always been one of the best when it comes to characters. Yeah. They make good characters. They make compelling characters. It's just... um, Yeah, I mean, I ha I have to play it because original Red Dead for me ranks in my all-time list. Yeah, my all-time yeah. list is a mess right now because I got into Dark Souls this year. <laughs> and t at least two games in that series place somewhere in mm. my list, you know? So, um, I, uh, the only one that cra cracks top ten, though, is Dark Souls. I'll say that. I really liked Bloodborne, and I really liked Dark Souls 3. Like, I would even say I loved Dark Souls 3. Really liked Bloodborne. Loved Dark Souls 3, but they, they wouldn't, they're not good enough for me to crack my personal top 10. Dark Souls, however, is, is there. Dark Souls is making me have to reevaluate every game I've ever played because my top 10 list has to change. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if Red Dead holds a spot in the top 10 now. I don't know. You know, because if the if the caliber of game is Dark Souls, then like Red Dead is just not there. It's just not that to that level. Yeah. It's a really great game. I found like ro I never really had anything in a Rockstar game in recent memory where I was like, like here's I got, I got, yo, this is mad fucking hard. I like, got to you. I could yeah. die. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Super I could hard. die, but I I could die a couple times actually. But I'm talking like rage quit hard. Like God of War was actually really challenging. I thought. Um, and that was a game where Donkey gave it a three and a half, and I was like three point five, and I was like, "Yeah, I I kind of agree with that." I have a I have, and a, I beat it. I have a question for you. I really have, I have a good question for you. Mm -hmm. Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto Five? Mm -hmm. Head to head, two men enter, one man leaves. Uh, the first Red Dead Redemption? Yeah. Uh, it would be unfair to compare. 
Yeah. yeah, I think Red Dead Redemption is a little tighter. Yep, me too. I would say Red Dead, and I really liked Grand Theft Auto V. I did too. I yeah. really liked it. Still, Red Dead over that game. So that's the bar. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's where the bar is. I at. think artistically, Red Dead Redemption has the best story. So out where, of anyone, maybe said maybe two trumps it. I gotta, yeah, I gotta to finish it. So I'm, where, I'm, up, I'm up to chapter six of six. So <laughs> where where would you put where would you put uh, this game so far? Red Dead Redemption two. What it, what are the Rockstar games that flat that you would say beat it flat out? Are there Rockstar? I like Red Dead Redemption 2 story more than I like Grand Theft Auto 5 story. I think the character work is way better, dude. I could name Dutch, Dutch Vanderlyn, so Bill I, Williamson. I can name all these fucking characters off the top of my head because they're all kind of ingrained, and you see all their tendencies. Hosea Matthews, fucking uh, Uncle. Fucking Javier Escuela, Karen holding the cam together. That's what I mean. It's like Siri, shut up, shut up, Siri. I got a new iPhone and just kind of does what it wants sometimes. It reminds me of like I put it in like that Vice City class, you know. <coughs> Stylistically, I think it's on some other shit. I think it's one of the best games I've played all year. And I'm looking forward to beating it so I can play Spider-Man. Then maybe, if I'm feeling froggy, maybe I'll fucking try Dark Souls for once. I still haven't played it. Well, we can officially do it on stream, bro. I know, I know. <sighs> so, here's what's going on with Dark Souls. Me and Stasia are planning to stream Dark Souls. Yes. And uh, it's going to be a controller pass situation. Mm. So here's here's okay. I find this interesting because with Dark Souls is this type <coughs> of game. That's going to have a certain vibe to nice. it. Nice. I think the other one will give you a save point actually. Wait, no, wait, no, no. Press that button. <laughs> Go yeah. I might be wrong about that. Okay. Oh fuck. I feel like the other. No, no, that was good. That was right. I feel like... Come down. Fuck. I, I feel like that other button is a save point, but I could be wrong. Well, I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? I was wrong. <laughs> Fuck. One, one, one of these, that's the case. One of these, that's absolutely the case. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just didn't want you to miss it if it was that one. Um, you, gotta get, you gotta get attacked by monsters. So listen. Me and Stasha are doing a Dark Souls stream, and it's gonna be a certain vibe. We're gonna control the pass... I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on my knowledge, but we're we're gonna be playing the game together. You and I, if we did it, would be more of like a, teach Sean how to break this game, yeah. get nerdy, like you know, kind of like get real, real fucking game lead speak on it type of thing. So I we, have we, no more magic points. We could for... both stream it in different configurations, and it would be very different streams. You know? Are you out of like ethers and <coughs> stuff? Yes. Yeah, so she needs a save point like nobody's business. Or literally, you and I could play it for fun. Yeah. Which is another way to go about it. I want to get you into the series. So however you think best... Okay, that that flip that, switch that you flipped, open a door somewhere else. Oh, I know where it opened. So, yeah, so... No, stop bringing them in. Stop. Okay, this is getting a little annoying. Yeah. This is getting a little bit annoying. Yeah, this this part of the this part of the game. I this know. area is disgusting. <laughs> I do not like it. It's one of my least favorites in the whole I game. I do not like just, it just, at all. Just I just it. beat a fucking Magus. Stop it. Just Stop. get through it. Just get through it. I know. This uh, do you do you remember what I said about 40 minutes ago? This is one of those sections in the game where I I'm so excited about what's coming next. I can't wait for this to be over. Mm. Like this part this part's not great. But it's yeah, okay. Yeah, no, there's there's but too many. Okay, here's my problem with this. These boys are really strong. I spent all my MP powers because this is one of the only ways to fucking kick them. Mm -hmm. I am not happy with how many enemies they're throwing at me right now. I just beat a boss. If you just beat a boss and went into this area right right after, you know, this, you know, unless this is a game that was meant to play with periods of t over periods of time. You know? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. That's Take, it. Breaks, I, I, breaks I, a part I, of it. Uh, breaks a part of it. 
Um, okay, and a lot of damage. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm literally about to die. Just, just, okay. Just, just do some healing. You got it. You got it. You're alive. Don't worry about it. Just stay on it. Stay on top of it. Remember, Frog can heal. Oh, he, uh, yeah. Frog still has health points. He, uh, magic points. He can heal. He just fucking died. That's all okay. Right. You can get through without him. Oh, Stas is Chrono. I was so confused. I was like, I, I was like, Danny's Frog. Severe lack of Gava Ghoul eating at the moment. Uh, you're completely out of ethers. Oh shit! Okay, so you just, gotta, up, yeah, yeah. you just gotta get through this fight. I think literally when you get near the side of this door, you're gonna get a save point. This, this is not good. No, you got it. You got yeah, it. Yeah, crit. That's good. That's oh man, come on. It's either you or him. Unless you could um, take him on. Take him. You should be healing with Frog at this point because he still has MP. Yeah, and Frog is dead. Row row. Oh shit! This is not good. All right. At least you got a lot of revives. That was that was we decided that early on. Have, Smart move. have revives. Smart move. In uh six hundred AD or whatever, there's this one spot at the beginning of the game where you could like keep getting shelters. The item. So yeah. I just like get like fifty of them to start <laughs> off the game. Hans happy. This is insane. This is fucking insane. Okay. The battle of attrition. This is this should not be as hard as the boss. You are nothing. The Battle of Nutrition. You should be using Frog to heal there. You should be using... He's dead. He's dead. He's uh -oh. dead. Holy shit, he's dead. Uh -oh. oh, fuck. Uh -oh. <laughs> fuck, we've reached critical mass. Uh -oh. Woo! Woo! That was scary. That was scary. Do you have any elixirs? No. All done. Metonic. I have a Metonic somewhere. Oh, my God. Ooh, it's getting it's getting rough out here in the streets. Oh my god. No, this is a Hit whole with stream the of progress. I'm not doing this. Oh my god, it's getting rough out here in the streets. Oh my god. Uh use 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 hold on. Oh okay, maybe you should be okay. using his heal. He has a heal all that you're maybe, not maybe, taking maybe advantage of. Oh, there you go. That's what you gotta do. Okay, okay, that'll work. Do another slurp side. That'll work, that'll work. You got this, you got this. Yeah, draw that attention, exactly. Almost diesel. I hate the enemy fight is getting a lot. That's cause she's out of MP, man. It's tough. Use that water. He's gonna die right now. He's gonna die right now. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, he's gonna die right now. There yeah. you go. Oh, there, you go. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. NGL. You did great. You did great. That was awesome. NGL. That was fucking awesome. You did great. Thank you. Uh, heal up before you go into that door, yeah, but I'm no. pretty sure you're gonna get a save point right <sighs> there. Yeah. I feel like we all kind of. Well, because it got real. It was like, oh shit, if she dies, like that's she, the whole he dies, dungeon. Yeah. He dies. <laughs> Chrono Trigger don't fuck around. Oh, man. It'll show you a good time, but don't sleep on Chrono Trigger because yeah. it'll smack it's not, you. It's not that easy. Chrono it's... Trigger, here for a good no, time. No, no, no. It'll fine. also That's smack fine. you in the mouth. Don't don't step, don't smuff up his kicks. It'll smack you in the mouth. Don't smuff up his kicks. <laughs> no, this is, this is, okay, this area is my least favorite in the entire <laughs> game. I'm, uh, I'm kind of with you. This, I, I don't, I don't, I got no love for this zone either. I'm glad I like, got to absolutely be part of the... nothing for this zone. It, it is absolutely unnecessary. The, the boss fight's cooler. Okay. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> you the gotta, boss you, fight, that's the thing. You like, I have to nothing to, to fight the boss because of this area, too. Yeah, you're gonna be alright. You're gonna be alright. You, you'll get that, you lose that shelter. You won't need more than, than, you know, I think right. maybe because I'm not playing, I'm actually really enjoying this part just because mm. I'm watching you from a safe distance. And also, there's that mad funny. Oh, no. You're okay. No. You're okay. No. No. Yes. You're okay. You're okay. You got it. You got it. They're not hard. They're not hard. Just stay with it. Just attack. This is good. You're leveling up. 
You know, this, you know what this area is teaching you? I keep talking about the teaching mechanics in this game because this game is really good with its its uh, lessons. This this area is to teach you to be mindful of your magic consumption. That's that's what this is about. It's like I don't wanna. yeah, kill kill motherfuckers with attacks when you don't like don't waste your magic points when you don't need to is what this, this zone is trying to teach you <laughs> very aggressively. You know. <laughs> I know. It's not, not even, not even a tiny bit okay with this zone existing. I'm having a great well, time. Oh yeah, you're over there. <laughs> um, this is exhausting. <laughs> I am hot as fuck right now, and I'm wearing a fucking dress in this apartment. No, I'm not. I'm not even on my period. I'm not even on my period. Damn. And this is Damn. this is not. Oh. Ms. Bill. Nah. Nah, you, you don't good. even have the period, Diva. You good? Don't even worry about it. You good? Can you let me in? Yep, yep. Awesome. Use that shelter right away. Ah, uh, and save it up. That's it. I told you, it was right there. All you had to do was survive. There you go. Woo! I'm gonna re-up my bill. I'm just hot. I'm just hot right now. I'm just hot this. and you sweaty. This. You're doing great. You're doing great. Anybody <clears throat> in the kitchen? You gooch. A will to live. You made your save? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Thank I'm, you, I'm, I'm old man safe. Thank you, Sean. Old man safe. That's what they call me. Stop skateboarding on my porch, you <laughs> basketball shirt. Whoa! <laughs> you dial back the racism. There are a certain part. Oh my god. What? What? You might have to fight What? No, what? Pimple back, no. Well, well. I'll do the voice of this guy. Yes, please. Well. Well, well. I'm for the Australian. <laughs> Nice. I'm Isabel too, say. Sky, sky. That's what I imagined. Mercy Project. <laughs> Mercy Project, say. Now, if Dan was here, he probably know how to weak weaken this guy. Oh, defensive power up when attacked. Okay. Mm. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. You just, you just do your thing. No, it's okay. We, 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 you could say shit. You could say shit. I believe he's one of those enemies where, like, defensive power up when attacked. Mm. I don't really remember, like, his stick. I think... I think he Mold takes bite. certain type. He <laughs> takes certain types of damage depending on whether or not it's an elemental attack or just a regular physical attack, but... Holy shit, what's that? 254. Defensive power increases when shot. That's the part of it I really enjoy, is the the new attack and how many of them I'm actually getting right now. Yeah. They are incredible. Yeah. There's there's so many different combos, because you basically get a combo for each type of uh, person in your group. There's double and triple attack and stuff. Alright, Slurp Kiss is another one I love. Look at that. So awesome. I'm not leaving you. I'm here in spirit. I'm yeah, go, spirit. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, what can this do for us? 247. Oh, I wish there was a triple one that I could use with all of these characters because that would have been fucking nice. Bubble hit. Bubble hit sucks. Uh, it must be not. Government sucks. Unless you're talking good. About the gov govern. Govern. So, um, I'm doing the voice of this character again. <laughs> Which one? Nisbel. <laughs> oh, uh, Sean, we, we we have a we have a mention in the chat. Nisbel two versus Nisbel one. What are your thoughts? Mm. I guess Nisbel two, right? <laughs> Nisbel two is like the voice I was doing was like, it was like, yeah, what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, when you, I guess when you no, Jordans. But, but, but right now, the person to ask on this would be Stas. Stas, what do you think? Nisbell when the Jordans. Or I don't remember one? what Ms. Bell 1 was he, doing. He was the guy you fought when you were trying to get the key back last time uh, you were in. Uh, in yeah, he history. looks he looks familiar. This is a beefy boy right here. How you feeling about this fight? Good. He's a bitch. <laughs> He's a bitch. Uh, I, you know. Uh, what's it called? 
it just like went out of my head for a second. I'm trying to find the right words because I'm not an American. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's not that you're not an American. It's that you're invested in what you're doing. Yeah. I bleed cheeseburgers. <laughs> and Bruce oh, no, no, no. no. I didn't even think about that. Oh, shit. Revive. I'm proud to be an American. It's what I have on my pickup truck. For breakfast, I eat seven cheeseburgers. For lunch, I have seven more cheeseburgers. <laughs> and I'm gladly stand up. Eat a cheeseburger and sit back down and eat another cheeseburger. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen is my. Stand up, sit back down, eat another cheeseburger. Stand up and sit back down, cause my blood pressure went up too fast. Ah, too many words. Out here in the. Wait, that's not. Out here <laughs> in the streets. I fight for my sweet. Yeah, that's real. I get mush back into mush baby. I'm gonna go ahead and say I what's... don't need to be forgiven. I'm gonna go ahead and say what's on everyone's mind. Yo, why do these fucking sushi places hate me because I'm white? <laughs> ah! Fuck. As, it's like the past three or nah, four man, times. They just hate everybody. It's not. They don't hate you because you're white. They just got no time. That's all. They're ornery. They're ornery in those joints. It's just what it is. I think you're trying to say horny. <laughs> Yo, I just noticed he's taking way less damage. Am I? Am I? Am I bugging? I I was saying when you were outside of the room, Dan, that you might remember the strategy to beat this guy. I don't remember. I think it's shock him with lightning and whoop his ass. I think. Yeah. Yeah, try lightning. I'm saying defensive power up when. Lightning deuce. Yo, lightning two is like the grind move later on. You're gonna need to do lightning two a lot. There you go. Defensive power decreases when shot. Okay. Yeah, not... Okay. Yeah. So you gotta hit him with that lightning. So first you hit him with lightning, then you bring the big boys, and that'll that'll whoop his ass. What the fuck? What the fuck? No? Holy shit. Yo, I straight up just died. Cocksucker. All right. Um, what time is it? One oh three. Honestly, this completely took me out of my zone. I don't know if they're hearing it right there. They're in the kitchen, by the way. Um, this is fucking insane. Like straight up. An hour going up this building just to be killed by some fucking munchkin. Oh, he got you? Yeah, he got me. He got you. Take round two. No, no, no. I can't do it right now. I cannot do it right now. I'm gonna need to take a break. We're uh, we're at exactly an hour. I know. That's the thing. And I I just you saved. It's, I you, saved. You just gotta go I'm, up and fight him again. That's all. Yeah, I know. We're at an hour. Yeah, that's it. We're calling it. We're calling it. We can just play Gang Beasts. Let's let's call it. It's right. not a big stream, but uh, it was no, a that's stream. Fine. That's fine. She went, She took the loss. Um, oh no, really? I can't do it. I can't do it right oh, now. No. I, it was it, okay. I am tired, 
of <laughs> going up this this fucking castle right. from going up this fucking castle. <laughs> At least you saved. This was, was insane. I will be okay to do it next time. That's fine. Listen. Which will be tomorrow. We, we did an hour. The only uh, the only restrictions we put on ourselves is to do an hour. We yes. did We did one hour and four minutes. So you're well within your call it time. Mm. Yeah, we, we can call it. This Damn. was exhausting. I did not like that area one <laughs> bit. One bit. I had Nothing for that area. See how I didn't have to ask her for her thoughts today? <laughs> she is offering <laughs> them up. Because <laughs> this, happens, this, happens. The, here's the thing. Yeah. Every game's going to have your least favorite part. I That's, felt yeah. everything, like every good thing about every other part of the game, not here. Yeah. I came at a Definitely good time. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I'm I'm Owen one for a good part. <laughs> oh boy, I ruined it. I ru- <laughs> no, it's okay, Sean. This is not it's your my fault. fault. It's my fault. The I, fault is of the fucking. I'm one for one for incredibly, being ex- <laughs> incredibly exhausting <laughs> castle. Incredibly <laughs> exhausting. Yes. Holy fucking they made shit. They the made you work for it. The it's, salt is real. Just mm. sleep on it. Just mm. sleep on it. We're gonna we'll come back we're to this. Sleep on it. Maybe you two will come back to we're it. Maybe I'll be here. Yes. Maybe I won't be here, guys. Thank you for having me. Stas. Yes. Oh my god, of Great course. Work. Yes. Of course, the Yang legend. Beast. We'll see what ha- we'll see what happens. Next. Oh yeah. You want to stream it? Are we doing yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god. Beast game? Okay, we're going to move over to the PS4. Fuck we're it. Coming back. Sick. I'm down. Hell yeah. Sick. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Thank you guys. PRB. Yo, Stas, you got her ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Megus on the first try. Niz build to I can't believe got you that ass. I can't be, I can't believe you haven't died that many times. I've died a lot. I like that's the thing. I don't I don't find this game incredibly hard. That's that's one thing. I don't find it incredibly, incredibly Deuces, hard. Deuces everybody.